be willing to make sacrifices to get opportunities and always always master and try to be fair ability times effort equals results know your limits a positive thinker does not refuse to recognize the negative he refuses to dwell on it avoid feelings of inferiority never take life for granted take time to write out a success inventory of yourself ask yourself what have I accomplished in my life so far don't worry about tomorrow take time to relax do your best with what you have a positive thinker learns to knock the T off of the can't remove yourself from an environment from which you don't like or is causing you pain think and act cheerfully and you will feel cheerful positive anything is better than negative nothing never underestimate the repellent power of a negative attitude a positive attitude is the one characteristic that all successful people have in common dare to take a chance get interested in your neighbors begin getting in the habit of doing it now do it now doing it now get in the habit of doing it now you get out of life what you expect so don't resign yourself in your present role in life get up an hour early in the morning cultivate a good sense of humor with a good attitude we can turn negative experiences into positive lessons always make everyone feel better because of you be more curious beware of negative thinking experts learn not to put a stopwatch on advancement handle your money wisely celebrate your victories be a positive thinker not a if thinker dare to be original make a strong commitment to reach your full potential as a human being use common sense act positively and you will become positive write out a list of ten things that you like about yourself and review it each day never verbalize a negative emotion attitude is the first quality that marks a successful person if a person has a positive attitude and is a is a positive thinker who likes challenges and difficult situations then half of this success is achieved on the other hand if a person is a negative thinker who is narrow-minded and refuses to accept new ideas and has a defeatist attitude they haven't got a chance read books on self-improvement start building your mental library be a future tense person don't be afraid of sentiment decide to go of something that's been eating you let go of something that's been eating you practice positive expectations let your desires become your obsessions the outer conditions of a person's life will always be found to reflect their inner beliefs keep a weekly to-do list be tactful don't allow past sorrows to become present emotions cultivate faith in your future and confidence in yourself expect more of yourself become aware of your negative thinking our attitude can be the anchor of the soul or the stimulus to action and the incentive to achievement our attitude constant set, constantly set new goals refuse to believe when someone says it can't be done create your own fortunes decide what you want most to achieve avoid people who point out the faults all the time learn to separate facts from fiction our attitude towards the world around us depends upon what we are ourselves if we are selfish then we will sus be suspicious of others if we are generous and have a generous nature we will be likely to be more trustful if we are quite honest with ourselves we won't always be anticipating deceit in others if we are inclined to be fair we won't feel that we are being cheated in a sense looking at people around you is like looking in a mirror you see a reflection of yourself believing that there is no circumstance stronger than your desire to accomplish your true purpose write down on paper I'm going to do the following tomorrow and then fill out your one day program ask and it shall be given to you seek and you shall find knock and it shall be opened unto you today do something specific that will demonstrate your determination to change yourself and your life for the better you can think negatively or positively if you are a positive thinker you will base your decisions on faith rather than fear try to look at the positive when being faced with negative situations each day collect and review quotes that motivate and inspire you avoid all negative thoughts and replace them with positive affirmations stay focused on your goals and objectives no matter what stay focused on your goals and your objectives a positive mind finds a way it can be done a negative mind looks for all the ways it can't be done start early each day stop feeling sorry for yourself remove yourself from toxic unhealthy relationships write on your write out your worries on paper and then tear it up and throw it away stick to your new year's resolutions work towards progress not perfection 
Nothing can stop the man with the right mental attitude from achieving his goals, and nothing on earth can help the man with the wrong mental attitude. Keep secrets secret. Avoid being cold, cruel, and calculating. Laugh when the going gets rough. It releases your tensions. All things are possible to him who believeth. Always be on time. Learn not to equate money with success. The greatest discovery of my generation is that human beings, by changing the inner attitude of their minds, can change the outer aspects of their lives. Approach everyone you meet today with a sincere smile, friendliness, and a positive attitude. Free yourself from false beliefs. Be considerate. Accept changes as inevitable. Have confidence in your judgment and know thyself. Personal deficiencies might be termed negative qualities or include in reliability, failure to cooperate, laziness, untidiness, troublemaking, interference, dishonesty. Positive qualities would include willingness, cheerfulness, courteousness, honesty, neatness, reliability, and temperance. Many fail in their workplace because they are unable to overcome one personal deficiency. Check up on yourself. Don't be afraid to put yourself under the microscope. Eliminate your negative qualities. Develop your positive ones. You can't win the check mark if the check mark is in the wrong place. Be a friend to yourself. Never say, I can't. Don't be afraid to change jobs to find the work you would truly like to do. Discover obvious and unrecognized time wasters. Develop your time awareness. Develop your time awareness. Learn from the past, but don't live there. Be lenient with yourself. Research has demonstrated that a positive attitude can strengthen the immune system, ward off illness, help fight disease, and influence healing and recovery from long-term illness. Try to be more spontaneous. Live each day as fully as you can. Start taking the necessary actions to become a person you want to be. Make people around you feel needed. Surround yourself with a can-do people. Surround yourself with can-do people. Do something each day that you... Do something each day that you do well, no matter how insignificant it may seem. Developing a positive mental attitude will help you create a positive life. Use more of your potential. Be flexible. Give a helping hand and support to someone who is faced with challenge of feeling down and out. Be assertive. Be assertive. Be assertive. When you're wrong, admit it. Look forward to the unknown. Real optimism sees the negatives but accentuates the positive. Develop attitudes that will get you where you want to go. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Don't hold back. Let others know how you feel. Don't hold back. Let others know how you feel. Think about what you can do for others, not what others can do for you. The attitudes of your friends are like the buttons of an elevator. They'll either take you up or they will take you down. Support charities. Take one step at a time. Always be prepared for opportunity. You can have anything you want if you will give up the, be the belief that you can't. Transform positive thinking into positive action. Think, I'm a winner, not I'm a loser. Think, I'm a winner, I'm a winner, I'm a winner, I'm a winner. A positive attitude is like a bank account. You can't continually to draw on it without making deposits. Set specific goals. Transcend old beliefs and limitations. Eliminate your vocabulary could've, would've, and should've. Spend at least 30 minutes a day reading something that is positive and inspirational. Be realistic. Be realistic. Be realistic. Always be excited. The word attitude has taken on a new, more restrictive meaning, usually with the connection of bad attitude, as in, I sense in you an attitude, or meaning with charged with an attitude. Expanded the word into its older, more useful meaning of general shows one's disposition. I think that we can explore the concept of attitude in a fruitful way. Attitude is the first place we show to the outside world. It can be physical, as in body language. In my whole body, it's leaning towards the door. It shows clearly how much I want to be boring or upsetting circumstance. Again, in some mysterious way, our attitude radiates a meaning easily read. Our attitudes betray our most secret thoughts and emotions. No matter how we try to hide them, they leak out and somehow they display us with all the gross openness of an anatomical chart. Sometimes if we look at them carefully enough that we can reveal things about us that we ourselves were not aware of, we can make our attitudes an important tool of self-knowledge. It's a face that we must 
we, we have to take and may not like, but it's one that always is in with it, within us. And yes, when we know our attitudes, we can change our attitudes. Make enthusiasm your daily habit. Don't be an other people blamer. Free yourself from nervousness and tension. Expect the best from yourself and others. Banish loneliness and depression. Make up a schedule of tomorrow's work before you even go to bed tonight. A positive mental attitude not only helps you visualize what you want to be, it helps you become it. You never can enhance the skills of your outer world until you enhance the skills of your inner world. Make a list of all the things you wish to change. Acknowledge the things that you can't change and take action upon the things that you can. As a man thinks within himself, so is he. Write on a paper an honest self-appraisal. Take stock of your abilities and your special talents. What is an attitude? It is an advanced man of our true selves. It's a root. Its roots are inward, but its fruits are outward. It's our best friend or our worst enemy. It's our more it's more honest and more consistent than our words. It's an outward look based on past experiences. It's a thing which draws people to us or repels them. It's a never content until it's expressed. It is a librarian of the past. It is the speaker of our present. It is the prophet of our future. That is an attitude. What is an attitude? It's the advancement of our true selves. It's the roots that are inward and fruits are outward. It's our best friend or worst enemy. It's more honest and more consistent with our words. It's an outward look based on past experiences. It's a thing which draws people to us or repels them. It's never content until it's expressed. It's the librarian of the past, the speaker of the present, and the prophet of the future. Take the shoulds in life and make them musts. Spend your money wisely. Make habits work for you, not against you. Avoid making the same mistake twice. Build your reputation and values for honesty and integrity and passion. Keep busy. The pleasure you get from your life is equal to the attitude that you put into it. Concentrate on foresight and forget hindsight. Give and give when it is expected and even when it's not expected. Remember, if you want to change your life, you have to change your life. Improve your ability to easily persuade others. Treat others as you want to be treated yourself. One final word about criticism. Don't. The Optimist Creed. Promise yourself to be so strong that nothing can disturb your peace of mind. To talk health, happiness, and prosperity to every person you meet. To make all your friends feel that there is something in them. To look at the sunny side of everything and make your optimism come true. To look only the best. To work only the best. Expect only the best. To be just and enthusiastic about your success and other successes are you as you are about your own. To forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievements of the future. To give so much in time to the improvement of yourself that you have no time to criticize others. To be too large for worry, too noble for anger, too strong for fear, too happy to permit the presence of trouble. That's the optimist duty, the optimist creed. The secret of getting things done is taking action. When things become so bad that they usually cannot become worse, they usually become start to get better. Believe that life is worth living and that your belief will help create that fact. Stop letting someone else make decisions for you. Make them yourself. Things are for us only from what we hold them to be, which is to say that our attitude towards things is more likely in the long run to be more important than the things themselves. Eliminate boredom. Create excitement. Work on improving your mental skills. Insist on respect. If you give it, you will receive it. And start improving your memory skills. Listen to upbeat and inspiring music. Before going to bed, flush the bad emotions out of your mind. Put your problems in the proper perspective. A bad attitude is the worst thing that you can that can happen to a group of people. It's infectious. Never forget that your present does not limit your future. Make a list of things, the things that you want in life, and develop the habit of thinking about things constructively in order to improve them. Give something away daily, a hug, a compliment, a gift, etc., and rethink on these thoughts. Positive thinking is how you think about a problem. Enthusiasm is how you feel about a problem. The two together determine what you do about a problem. Positive self-talk or affirmations. Few of us realize the tremendous amount of influence that our thoughts and inner monologue have on helping us in life and preventing us from or preventing us from succeeding in life. The thoughts that occupy our minds of what we say when we talk to ourselves, our self-talk, become our reality if dwelled upon or repeated upon enough. Your mind believes what you tell it most, so it's important that you teach yourself to think and talk with a positive dialogue. 